eight mid journey hacks that will change your life. The first one we're gonna do is adding an image for reference. Some of you might know this, but a lot of you do not know that you can use a reference image to edit and recreate on top of that. So all you need to do is click on this plus sign right here, click on upload file, and then upload whatever image you want to add. There's another way where you can go on Google and then right click and copy the image link, but sometimes that doesn't work. So this method actually ends up working the best. And simply you click on your image and then once it loads up, right click on it and then basically say copy image address. And then you can go back and now you can go ahead and type in imagine, paste that image link right there. And then you can change this. So for my example, mine's a dog floating in space, eating a pizza. Don't ask me, that's a mid journey prompt clearly. And we can change this. Maybe let's do a uh, cat floating in, let's do floating in space with raining. What can we make raining? Uh, let's do raining, I don't even know, cotton candy. And I'll hit enter and then we will wait for the results. So here are the results. And as we can see, it does not look like the cat was replaced. However, we do see the cotton candy looking shapes might look actually kind of like a mixture with the cat. I'm not too sure. However, this is one of the hacks to use an image and have it look even crazier or better than your original one. So now let me go on and show you number two. So here is the second method. So what you're gonna wanna do is type in slash and then what you're gonna look for is blend. So simply click on blend and now it's gonna give you two images to upload. So I'll go ahead and upload those really quickly and then show you how this works. So here you can see I added the images and we have the left one, image one as the one we just created and then image two was also a mid journey creation and basically some guy with money falling. So now all you do is press enter and then look at the result. So here is the result of the blend and I'm not gonna lie, this might be my favorite mid journey AI generation yet. And take a look at this, seems like they have the dog replacing the guy's face, which looks pretty good. The money, it looks like it is Looks like some sort of rocks and a combination of dollar stacks, not even sure. The suit, it looks like he's wearing a little tuxedo like spaceship combination thing, not 100% sure. But as you can see, the creations, I don't even know what I would have typed in to get this exact image. So there you go, there is number two method that you can go ahead and start using in mid journey right now. Now let's move on to method number three so for this method all you need to do is simply type slash imagine and there's multiple ways you can go about this you can actually hard code this or hard type this in by basically saying colon and then i can just say heart right there and as you can see it shows up and basically you would type in colon the emoji and then colon after or if it pops up like here then you can click on that and then we can do it again, colon, let's do Santa. Click here and let's do one more emoji, colon, and uh, let me see what else pops up. And uh, looks like we have a cactus. So that is random. And then press enter and then we can see what we get. So here is the result. And honestly, not my favorite AI generated image, but basically it looks like a bunch of cactuses. Don't really see the Santa emoji being represented anywhere in here but I'm sure you could get creative with that. And also you can add that into your prompts as well. So if you were to say dog walking and then put a heart emoji, then you can also combine that with text also. So now let's move on to method number four. So for this method, you're gonna have to go and type slash and then S E and until you see settings or just simply type it out and then click on settings and then press enter and I'll show you this little hack. So here by default, you might not have remix mode enabled. So simply clicking on remix mode allows you to remix your images without having to click the replace button. So I'll show you what I mean. So let's go ahead and create an image really quick and then I'll show you how to remix it. So here is a prompt I type in Santa 
Riding Deer in Space. Now if you don't like the way this looks, we can go ahead and remix this by adding some customizations. So here you can go ahead and click on for example version 4 and now what it will do is it will, whatever image you chose, so we picked the fourth one, it will now remix that and then we can go ahead and type in like 3D and then also abstract gradient colors futuristic and then simply submit it and then we'll look at the result afterwards so here we can see that the fourth image version 4 that I remixed is now added with these additional words and prompts that I added before which you wouldn't be able to do without having that option selected so obviously if you want to make it even more different and change it up then you can clearly remix it again and then add it specifically to the image versus having to type out a whole new prompt and getting a completely different image and then trying to go through it over and over and over. So now let's go on to the next method. So this one's actually pretty cool. All you need to do is type in imagine and then your prompt. So let's do something even crazier. Let's do futuristic, futuristic, and let's do dog robots. And I want it to be a specific dimension in terms of photo size. So for example, typical ones you see, it's like one to one ratio. If you wanted a portrait, you could have it taller, maybe three by two. Or if you want it to be like a horizontal one, you could do it 16 by nine. So what you do is simply type in dash dash AR and then whatever ratio you can do one to one, which by default, it looks like every image is like this. You can try three to two. You can go in here and play around with this, but typically this one, if you want it to be horizontal, that sizing of sideways landscape view, you can do this option, dash dash AR 16 colon nine, and then enter and then you will see the results. So here you can see the images have widened out and they are the ratio of 16 by nine. So there is another trick you can go ahead and do if you want to change up the sizing of your images. So now let's go and try another hack that you can go ahead and add to your image generation in mid journey. And this one's actually pretty cool. So do imagine, and what we can say is do the exact same prompt, for example, futuristic dog robots. And if you were to type in OP art, and let's do the dash AR, and let's switch it, let's do like three by two so you can see the differences and I'll show you the results after. So here you can see the results and this is typing the extra word OP art. And what this does is changes the actual artwork into a unique design with these line style designs, which if you do like this, then maybe you can add that to your collection. So now let me show you another trick you can do with mid journey. So this one's actually, I like this one a lot and simply type in imagine. And what we can do is um, sports car futuristic. And then let's say with money and I'll put double exposure. So that keyword double exposure, if it were to work out with this prompt, we will wait and see. So let me go ahead and try this out and then I'll show you the results. So here is the result. And as you can see, it sort of changes the inside or the overall design with the additional item that you add to. So money plus car and you can see some of the images looks like the cars infused with money so that is a cool trick if you want to tie that out with any other objects or whatever you can think of that is a cool word double exposure to add into your prompts and now let's move on to the last and final one that you can go ahead and do to your mid journey ai art so let's go ahead and do imagine again and this time we can say uh let's do this put sports car and we can say 3d isometric and essentially this is a really interesting uh design that if you ever use 3d softwares before it's very popular video game assets do this all the time so simply adding isometric and maybe even 3d can change it up and let's go ahead and see the results so here you can see the results and it has sort of this graphic artistic design to it so those are the eight hacks with mid journey if you enjoy this video want to see more of the latest ai news and softwares and tips and tricks hit that like button and subscribe and thank you for watching